So in my last video, I did the top 8 best seasons 1 to 3 Spongebob Squarepants episodes. And you know what, I thought what better way to do another Spongebob video than to ask ourselves what is the best Spongebob season of all time. The best of the best, if you will. And to answer that question, we first need to look back on what seasons had the most amount of memorable episodes. Now of course, before I start feeling like a complete bully and saying the best season is definitely nothing past season 3, I will be talking about which season is the best among the modern seasons as well just to keep things fair, so hope everyone is happy with that. Alrighty, before we dive in, be sure to click that like and subscribe button guys, we're almost at 400 subscribers and I would really appreciate it. With all that said, let's begin. Diving back into the Bikini Bottom, never going to get tired of saying that. Now when asking myself what is the best season of Spongebob, immediately I think of the first three seasons, so we'll start with that. Because it's pretty obvious the best season is coming from this era. Now season 4 and 5 aren't bad, they're just a few steps down the ladder when you're comparing it to the first three seasons of the show. So starting with season 1, probably the most relaxed season to me since it's literally the beginning of the show. Since season 1 brought us 5 star episodes like Rock Bottom, which is my favorite episode by the way, and SB129, Scaredy Pants, Pizza Delivery, honestly I could go on and on with this list, so it's definitely pretty high up there. Looking at season 2, we have Big Pink Loser, Squidville, Squirrel Jokes, Fry Cook Games, Graveyard Shift, and Christmas Who. There are definitely a lot of memorable episodes this season as well, so it's going to be pretty difficult when deciding a winner, because I could literally watch these episodes over and over and it wouldn't get stale. Now getting to season 3, there are actually quite a few gems. Not as many as season 2, but enough to say it's one of the best seasons of the show. But obviously we're trying to only pick one, so we have to look under each season with a critical lens. So season 3 gave us the most meme-centric Chocolate with Nuts episode, which, who doesn't love this episode, be honest? One Crab's Trash was also a pretty good one as well, even Sponge Guard on Duty was also pretty good. So as much as I love Season 3, I think I'm going to have to cut it out, just because I think there are just more memorable episodes in the other two seasons. So now we have our showdown, Season 1 versus Season 2. And man oh man, I wish we could just give it a draw and call it a day, but nope, we can only have one winner. So let's keep diving deeper. So as I said before, season 1 to me at least felt more relaxed in a sense since it was the start of the show. The crew was trying to really go in on making a good impression to what would obviously become the more lovable cartoon we all know and love. Now that's not to say there weren't any flaws or anything, or even episodes I don't find to be 5 stars such as Squeaky Boots and The Paper. Now I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of Squeaky Boots since it kinda overuses the sound of the Squeaky Boots way past its limit. I know it was to emphasize Mr. Krabs' pain, but it still was really annoying to hear it every couple seconds. The paper is also a really weird one, it kinda makes you wonder why it was made, since the plot was just way too simple, and even made Squidward feel like he wasn't really Squidward. I wouldn't call this episode total garbage, it's just one of those episodes that make you wonder if it really came from the best era of Spongebob. Now to counterattack that, we have the best episodes of the show to me, which of course are SB129 and Rock Bottom. These are literally the best episodes the show has to offer, and if you're introducing a new fan to the show, these two episodes are definitely my top recommendation. I mean, Rock Bottom has the most unique place we've seen in Bikini Bottom, especially up to that point, since you have Spongebob and Patrick taking the wrong bus, and eventually Spongebob is stranded in a dark town with monsters and ghouls roaming around. The episode is just really relaxed, and uses the darkness setting so well, it almost makes you feel like you're there with the characters. SB129 is another gem where Squibber gets sent through time after trying to avoid going jellyfishing with Spongebob and Patrick. The episode has so many settings like the past, present, and future, each giving us a weird variation of Spongebob and Patrick. I also think it was pretty funny to see Squibber get trapped in the universe with literally nothing, so it all makes for a really good time. Now every other episode is pretty much 4.5 stars or even 5 in my opinion, so it's pretty much pure perfection aside from squeaky boots and the paper. So if Season 2 has less than 2 bad episodes, then I think we have our winner. So looking at Season 2's episode list, I am not kidding when I say I didn't find a single episode that I thought had a certain flaw to bring it down to the level of the paper and squeaky boots. So now it leads us to the question, is Rock Bottom and SB129 put together enough to defeat Season 2? Well, I don't know about that. Seeing Sailor Mouth, Graveyard Shift, and Boy Oh Boy Bang Geeks, I don't think so. 
I don't think we really need to go any further. Season 2 wins. Believe me when I say it was really a tight race. But in the end, Season 2 pulled through first since it just has more gems in my opinion. I mean, when you look at Season 2's episode list, it's pretty hard to find an episode I didn't enjoy. So now that we have crowned Season 2 our winner, let's take a look at the best modern season. I'm just gonna say it right now. Season 6 through 8 are complete garbage and has no chance of winning. I'm sorry, but hey, give me a break. There are more anti-gems in this era of the show, to be honest with you. So I just can't see a winner coming on top. Now, Season 9 through present are actually pretty interesting. Since in my top 8 must-watch modern SpongeBob SquarePants episode, which you should totally check out, by the way, most episodes actually came from Season 9, believe it or not. These episodes include What's Eating Patrick, Pull Up a Barrel, Bolton Board, and many more. At this point, the show is going through a different direction, and the crew was actually giving us pretty good plot points and storylines. I don't think I need to analyze too much with the other modern seasons, because while there are a few good gems from the other seasons, such as Big Birthday Blowout, Mermaid Pants, and Mimic Madness, I just don't think there are as many gems compared to Season 9. I mean, Season 10 brought us Whirly Brains, which was straight out of what the heck land. So congratulations to Season 9 for being our modern Spongebob season winner, and Season 2 for being the winner overall. Alright viewers, I think we can safely cross off the best season of Spongebob Squarepants on our list, and don't worry for those who are wanting the Spongebob and Total Drama Marathon to end, we'll be taking a break rather shortly. And of course, let me know what list you'd like to see next. With all that said, I look forward to seeing you with our next list.